Hey everybody, this is YouTube 6 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'm actually going to be changing up a bit for you guys today. Today, I'm going to actually be doing a video showing you guys how to mod your, um, your game on Minecraft or Xbox 360. So this will, so this can allow you to, like, add in, add, just add in as many blo any blocks, um, just change some settings around. Yeah, it'll just basically allow you to just, um, you know, try to just mod the, yeah, just mod the game of Minecraft on Xbox 360. And it's a very simple tutorial, and, um, yeah, so this is just the world that I'm using. This is, this is the world that I'm going to be, uh, modding. Uh, it's the world that I created about half an hour ago as of, um, when I'm making this video. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and close it right now. And I'm just gonna tell you some stuff that you're going to need in order to do this. So you're going to need, so obviously you're going to need an Xbox 360 with Minecraft on it. You're going to need to have a USB flash drive with I think at least one gigabyte. You're going to need to have a program called Horizon. Um, and it's complete. And it's completely free, and you're not going to get banned or anything like that. You're also going to need to have a another program called Oprise LP Mod Tool. Both um, there will be both download links in the description for both of those sites. And and again, and don't worry, they they are they are both completely free, and you're not gonna get banned or anything like that for this. Yeah, because it's completely free. But anyways, without further ado, enough of me rambling. We're gonna get straight into this. So, if you're already in Minecraft, make sure you close it up. And also, this will um this will work for any version of of Minecraft. Doesn't you? Um, I'm I'm just doing it in an older version because uh, I just want to do it in the version where creative mode is not in yet. But you can do this with any version, doesn't matter what update you're on, it, it should work. But basically now what you want to do, so, you're gonna, so go to your Xbox dashboard, scroll all the way to settings, then go into system, go to storage, um, go on whatever Minecraft stored on, I'm just going to go on all devices for the sake of it. And then you want to scroll all the way down until you find Minecraft, so... Um, yep, there it is. And then scroll all the way until you find the world that you want to mod. So, let's see. Um, it should be around, oh, it should be up here, actually. And that's it. That is, that is the world, that, that, that world right there is the one that I want to mod. So, I'm going to go ahead. Um, well, it doesn't matter whether you copy it or move it, but, um, either way, um, you're going to want to store, go to... Um, yeah, the storage device that you, the, uh, flash drive you have plugged in. Um, I, I'm just gonna, I, I wanna have two copies just in case something, you know, happens to the, uh, the one I'm gonna be modding. But anyways, um, um, you're now gonna go ahead and you're gonna unplug, you're gonna unplug the, uh, flash drive out of your computer. Oh, uh, excuse me, out of your Xbox. And we're going to switch over to the PC, um, Okay, yep. Okay, so now we're going to go over, so now we're going to go over to the PC, and you want to plug your stick, your USB stick, into your computer. And then you're going to open up, you're going to open up Horizon. Um, yeah, just open, so open up, open up Horizon. Okay, and then I'll, oh, this is the old stone place thing. Then open up games. And yeah, Minecraft. <gasps> Minecraft should be there, so that that's the map that I want to mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that right there. I'm just gonna move since you can kind of see me in the reflection. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is uh, so you're gonna hit you're gonna hit contents, just so you're gonna hit contents, and you're gonna select uh, save game. So select same game, save game dad. There we go. I can finally talk now. And then hit extract selected, and um, yeah, just figure out where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to the USB drive for my purposes. And now, uh, that's this little thing right there. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, so it's actually another copy. Um, because I'm actually um, I had to re, I had to I'm, a I'm actually re-recording this because I um, I missed something. I um, I missed a step last time. But yeah, go ahead, hit save. And again, that's just appearing because, whoops, that's just appearing because I had to, um, re redo this video. And it says there, file extracted successfully. 
Okay. Oops, so that's done. So yep, you can now so you can now go ahead and minimize horizon. And you're gonna open and you're gonna go into Oprise LP go over to Oprise LP mod tool. So you're going to right click it. So right click it and hit run as administrator. And then just hit yes. And there it is. So now, so, so hit start, and then hit open save game dat. And then you're going to, you need to find, you need to locate the, uh, this, the save game dat here. So this is it right here. And hit open. Okay, and then you just got all the stuff here. So, um, yeah, and then you just, yes, yeah, so you can add in, and you can add in blocks. Change some settings, this map thing, I think you, oh, I think the maps thing, basically it just allows you to open up, um, well, allows you to insert any pictures that you want, and then just kind of put them over the map, which, and this will take over the, uh, the, the regular map, and then the world, so you can just kind of convert it to PC, customize, flatland, custom biomes, um, yeah, I'll start, you got a mob spawner adder, custom villager adder, we got other two, so the giant slime slash map the cube adder. We got advanced stuff there. But yeah, um the best the best thing you can do with this um, well what I'm I'm gonna be doing mainly doing this to do some stuff. So you can go into here for example and yep you can change it so that it never rains, so you can make it noon. Right, yep. Yeah, you can make it so that and again you can just make it so that it never rains. Adventure mode, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm guessing it's something to do with adventure mode, but um, anyway, so yeah, you can you can add stuff to your inventory, and then you got all these blocks right here. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of blocks. It's not all the blocks that they add to the Xbox version, but most of them. So you can go ahead and, um, yeah, because it's actually from a few years ago, so, it, so all the blocks won't be there. But you can go ahead and, and take whatever blocks you want and put them into your hotbar. However, if you're doing if you're doing this for an older version, make sure you uh make sure you don't add in any oh well, yeah make sure you don't put in any blocks that weren't in the update you are in, because uh, yeah it'll probably lead to corruptions and I am not I don't want to be held responsible for anybody who loses their world due to this. But yeah, you can select what you can put in whatever you want. So let's see for example um we might want to put in some diamond blocks. Um, do a six do a sixty four stack, and you hit OK. Oh, there's a diamond tools button. This will just basically add in diamond tools. Yep. So that's that's pretty good, you know. Yeah. You know, so um, get, you can kind of cheat, I guess, if you really want to. We're gonna put the uh, diamond box back in for the sake of it, and then we can add another thing. But yeah, as I, as I said, if you're if you're doing this in an older version like I am, make sure you don't put any blocks that weren't in the update, or else it might lead to corruptions. And as I've said, I do not want to be held responsible for anybody who loses um, that, um, loses their work by this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a, a bunch of more stuff in. Um, just do that. Let me just lock this thing. Okay. Yep. Maybe add in some sponges as well. Um, yep. Oh yeah, you can add some stationary water too. That's, that's really cool. Yes, you can really just hold water and it will be stationary. Okay, I'm gonna find. Uh, don't worry, this is gonna be. I'm gonna. This is gonna be the last thing I promise because I don't wanna. Um, yeah, I don't wanna waste too much of your time. You can hold fire. That's really cool. Uh, where is? Let's see. Where is? Sponge. Oh, there it is. And then, yep, 64, so I guess, um, yeah, that would be very cool. Yep, and then once you're done, hit save changes. 
Um, yeah, this is the part that I missed last time, which is why I have to redo this actually. You know, so your player settings have your player settings have been saved, and then again, you can just do whatever you want. So you can you know make it never rain. You can change your spawn point. Do whatever you want, and then um, and then when and when you're already when when you're done, go back go hit start again, then hit save game that. And it'll say here, it is recommended that you save this modded world on a different location other than the unmodded world. This is a beta, so there may be bugs. Just hit OK. And then just put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in the documents folder for this example. OK. And then that's good. And you can actually now go ahead and close her. Um, you can close... O prize LP, um, open Horizon back up, and then you're gonna find your world. So find the world. So find your un original unmodded world. Go to contents, right click on save game dat, and then hit replace. And then you're going to find the modded one that you're gonna go 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 for the modded save game that you just created so there it, there it is for me hit open and it'll say file replace successfully there you go then it save rehash and resign and that's done okay so now at this rate you can now go ahead and close horizon and unplug the usb stick and we're now going to go ahead and plug the usb stick you can now go plug it back into the Xbox. So let's go do that. Okay, so so that's done there. So now you're gonna turn your controller. So now turn the controller back on. Well, I turned it off um, to conserve the battery. You may not have. Um, but yeah, now. But now you can. Oh, wait, I forgot um, one thing. Uh, don't don't open the game just yet. I um I missed a I actually missed a step. I missed a step. But yeah, go go to your settings, uh go back into system and then storage. Yeah, let's give it a minute to load. And now what you want to do is you're going to move your world, you're going to move the world back to the hard drive. Um, yeah, and I just brought up that message because I copied it, you know, because I wanted it to just be there just in case something happened to my original world. But now you can go back, but now you can go back into Minecraft. Okay. And then, and then, and then you should be, and then you should just be able to open up the world that you had, and if everything, and if you did everything correctly, then it should be, you should have, all this, you should, do, it should have all the items, anything that you put in, everything should be there, if you do. It. Yep. So as you can see, I've got all my stuff here. It's noon. Yep. I said it to be noon, so that's so that's working. Yep, you can see everything is um, that I saw. I wanted. I put it there, and you'll and you'll see that I'll just be able to place it down. See, yep, just like that. I've got a piston and a sticky piston. Yep, it's all just, yeah, you know, just a proof that it this is that this is really working. But yeah, so there we go. That is how to mod your inventory in Minecraft for Xbox 360. Um, if you did find this helpful, uh, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up because as always that would be very much appreciated. And anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, and if you like to see more tutorials like this, um, please let me know because I'd be happy. I'd be happy to do any tutorials you'd like. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.